Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with these shoes. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another stout review. Uh, today we're checking out a beer. It's a collaboration. Modern Times and Jay Wakefield. I feel like Jay Wakefield gets a lot of hype with their stouts. Uh, this is success, uh, Suggestion of Mass. That can art is amazing, as per usual with Modern Times. Uh, Jay Wakefield's in Florida, I think, somewhere. Um, I've never actually had a Jay Wakefield stout. I've heard a lot of good things about them. Um, so I feel like when it, it comes to them brewing stouts with all the crazy stuff that they do, people kind of go nuts over their beer. So uh, this is an 11% alcohol by volume, big, big beer. Imperial Stout, it says brewed with coffee, coconut, and vanilla. Uh, this was canned on September the 12th, so this is about three months old. Uh, I actually didn't realize this beer was a thing. I went down to Modern Times yesterday <clears throat> to pick up the last of my membership stuff for 2018, and these were in the cooler, and I said this will be perfect for stout miss, so that's what we're doing. Modern Times proper glassware, this beer tastes better in proper glassware. Let's check her out. Oh, this is actually really light. And it's got that cola kind of head. Huge head. Wow, look at that. For an 11 percenter. Did we pour that too hard? Holy crap, look at that. That's three fingers of just marshmallow in a glass. That's crazy. That's so, like, tightly packed. That head is insane. Don't usually see that for an 11 percent beer. At least not the ones that I drink. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to swirl this, but I'm guessing at 11 percent that would be alcohol legs. But it looks awesome. I'm not proper glassware. So uh, I loves me some coconut. I loves me some vanilla. I'm hoping this beer is awesome. I heard it was really, really good. My brother in beer, Craig, said this beer was fire and he wanted more of it. So let's go ahead and ship our nose in this one. See what she's got. Wow, that's the coconut is definitely present and it smells like I'm not a coffee drinker, but it's got that rich kind of coffee roast to it. Um, I will say I'm not getting like vanilla per se, but there's this cool kind of sweetness to it. Um, this doesn't have like that crazy decadent, desserty pastry thing that I was expecting with the vanilla and the coconut. This is super like fleshy coconut and coffee. Yeah, it smells awesome, but honestly, like other than the, the rich kind of coffee roast and coconut, there's not much else that I'm smelling. Like I said, there's a little bit of sweetness, but it smells good. Let's go ahead and taste it. Cheers. mouthfeel on this is awesome. There's so much coconut in that. Crazy. And then there's, again, just like on the nose, I wasn't picking up vanilla, like as a um, flavor that I was smelling. There was just kind of like this generic sweetness. It has that kind of generic sweetness on the finish of that. A good amount of coffee roast on the, on the finish of that too. It doesn't go like crazy bitter like a lot of coffee beers uh, do though, but there is so much coconut on my tongue right now. It's awesome. Um, Nathan and I reviewed, we did a barrel aged monsters park, um, that had coconut and we did a blind battle beer with that and prop 14 and that beer held its own against prop. I feel like modern times really knows what they're doing with the use of coconut and stouts. Cause this one's fire too. As this is warmed, when I just smelled it again, a little bit of like chocolate, like milk chocolate on the nose. Um, there's a little bit of that chocolate on the uh, the taste of the beer, but it's it's mostly, like I said, that kind of rich sort of coffee roast, but tons and tons of coconut. Um, and there's, like I said, that sweetness is becoming more prevalent on the finish of it um, as this has warmed up even out in the garage. It's, I mean, this beer's not cold, cold, but it's also not like room temperature, how I typically drink stouts. But that kind of sweetness that you're getting is a good balance with all that coffee roast and then the coconut just kind of shines on the finish of that if you don't like coconut beers um i don't want to say like this is a crazy coconut bomb like it, it tastes like you're drinking coconut water or something it's not like that in your face but it's really really prevalent if, if you're not really into coconut beers you might not like this beer as much i think the coffee kind of um presents itself and with all the like that rich roastiness um and the little bit of bitterness on the finish it kind of balances out the coconut but the sweetness that's on the finish as i'm talking is awesome too Mouthfeel is nice. It's that medium mouthfeel. Um, 11%, there's no heat to this beer. You don't taste it, you don't smell it. 
It's very easy drinking for 11% 11, uh, 11 beer. So uh, this is a killer collaboration. I really, really uh, dig it. And it's still available if you guys want to trade for it. Um, four packs of 16 ounce cans were $32. So you figure like their barrel aged stuff that comes in 22 ounce bottles is usually $31. So um, I mean, I think this is, I don't know, is that good value for a stout with a bunch of adjuncts in it? 11% for 16 ounce cans for 32 bucks, $8 a can. I don't think that's bad, but uh, you guys can be the judge of that. But uh, for this one, I'm going, I mean, this is a, a solid A beer. I think, I, I think I want more vanilla in it. I do love the coconut though. 96 out of 100. I think that's a good score for this beer. So that's Suggestion of Mass, a collab between Modern Times and Jay Wakefield. If you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I could bring bad news to all these.